being married to someone who started a business. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're in your 30s, when you're working so hard constantly mm -hmm. to build that business, you don't have a lot of working cash perhaps at the moment and you're putting everything into that business. Why though is it critical to step back and start doing this? Because what does happen if you're then 20 <laughs> years down the road and you go, my God, you know, retirement is looming larger. Mm -hmm. Why is it that time in your 30s, perhaps, that you really need to start spending the time meeting with tax professionals and meeting with investment strategists to get it together? Well, here's a simple formula for people to remember. So if at age 20 you save $100 a month and never increase it, just save $100 a month all the way till age 65, it's worth a million dollars. If you wait until you're 30, now you've got to save $300 a month to get to the same place. If you wait until you're 40, now it's got to be $800. And if you wait until you're 50, it needs to be $2,400. Every 10 years that you wait, you've got to triple the amount of savings to get to the same point where if you just would have started earlier. So it's critical because the earlier that you start, the more your money can work for you as opposed to you having to work for your money. So it's critical. But you touched on uh, an issue that I think is also important for self-employed people or people that are running a business uh, because most business owners think of their business as being their retirement. And to a large extent, it is going to be their retirement. So I'm going to build up this business and I'm going to sell it and that's going to be my retirement. And the fundamental problem with that is it would be the same thing as coming to me and I'm going to tell you that I'm going to put everything, all of your investments into one stock. I'm going to put it all into Hershey Foods or GE or something. You would probably think that I'm crazy. Well, what about diversification? What about, uh, you know, what makes you think that this is going to be the business and, and that it's going to get an effective return? And that's the same problem with counting only on your business. You really, as a business owner, you need to diversify. You need to have something that you're putting money into besides your own business because who knows what's going to happen with your business. And it, could, and it may be something totally beyond your control that it goes down the tubes or it doesn't become as successful as you think it's going to be and without any kind of diversification now you have no retirement.